Hello, my name is Uva Brandis. I'm an urban planner and I'm going to talk about Barracks Row. We're located here on Capitol Hill, directly between the United States Capitol Building and the U.S. Navy Yard along the Anacostia River. Take a walk with me down Barracks Row and I'll show you why Barracks Row on Capitol Hill is a great green place. Here at the Eastern Market Metro Station. We're at the heart of the Capitol Hill neighborhood, surrounded by 19th century row houses. Several years ago, I was involved as a liaison between the city government, the federal government, and the community here in this neighborhood. And together, we brought the parties to work on the revitalization of this corridor and the revitalization of the Anacostia waterfront. We're a few blocks away from the river, but the idea of the Anacostia planning process was to include all of the neighborhoods that abutted the river to create a vision for how this neighborhood and many others like it along the river could be connected together. Before we take a walk down Barracks Row, we're gonna introduce council member Tommy Wells. Tommy Wells represents this area on the DC Council. Hello, Tommy, how are you? I'm doing great. Council member, talk to us. Why, why is Barracks Row a model of sustain, neighborhood sustainability? It's a concept that I would call five-minute living. From here, you can get to fresh food at Eastern Market, great restaurants along Barracks Row. I can also get on the metro here. From the metro, I can get to Union Station in just a couple of minutes and then go anywhere in the world. Well, there's a lot of people that ride their bikes here, and you'll see that we, we're getting more and more places to lock bikes up in front of our restaurants, in front of our other destinations. And then we've also added the circulator bus. So with the metro, biking, walking, and the circulator bus, this is probably one of the more multimodal neighborhoods in the country. One of the most important indicators of a sustainable neighborhood is that people love to live there. What we have is that we have tremendous assets that people in the suburbs kind of often have just in one home, in a large home. Here they're shared assets so that you, instead of worried about how big your yard is, you worry about how many parks you have for different purposes. So when you have shared assets, we realize that you can have a smaller home, but have much more in return in a shared asset community. But that's why people love to be here. Thank you, Tommy. I've really enjoyed My this My pleasure. Today. Years ago, without stores in each of the storefronts, residents would have to get into their cars and drive out to Virginia to go shopping. Today, there's a whole variety of stores here. There's stores for kids, there's restaurants, there's little grocery stores, coffee shops, places to um, come on the weekends, but also day in, day out places to get the bare essentials. A lot of people think of Washington, D.C. as a great green city. We've got the National Mall, we've got Rock Creek Park, we've got the parks along the Anacostia River, but it's these trees that play an incredibly important role in people's experience of 8th Street Barracks Row. They help make it cooler, they help retard the stormwater that falls down into the urban environment, and together they form an important part of the experience as you shop or stroll along the street. The parking on Barracks Row is especially interesting. Look at the angled parking on the other side of the street. That was designed in a very specific way to maximize the amount of cars that are parked along the street. That benefits the shop owners, but also the way in which it's angled and cars are forced to back into spaces. That's a traffic calming measure and that benefits the pedestrians. Behind me is the main house, the residence of the Marine Commandant. Marine Barracks have been here since 1804. That's a major commitment and it's really the cornerstone of this part of the community. The Marines themselves have an extraordinary pride of place. It's Friday night at six o'clock in the summer. It's time for a Marine's performance. It's the evening parade here at the Marine Barracks on 8th Street in Barracks Road. In the 60s and early 70s, this freeway was built. Up until a few years ago, there was very little reason to connect from one side to the other. 
Today, with the restoration of the street, it's the first step in the process of knitting together the existing historic neighborhood down to the Navy Yard and to the waterfront beyond. It's the first step in repairing what has been an incredibly detrimental part of Washington's history. And here we are with the Navy Yard behind us. This is the historic Benjamin Latrobe Gate, the ceremonial entrance into the Navy Yard. Can you imagine Lincoln riding in a carriage down 8th Street and then entering into that gate? That's where he went on weekends in the summer during the Civil War. This neighborhood is turning into a mixed-use, mixed-income waterfront neighborhood connecting the historic part of Capitol Hill down to the Anacostia for the first time since World War I. We've walked down Barracks Row. We've seen historic uses and continuous use for literally hundreds of years. We've seen areas under development forming an entire cohesive community. Think about this in terms of your neighborhood. Think about the historic streets. What's happening there today? Are there existing uses, historic uses? Is there a mixture of uses? Hope to see you on Barracks Row.